Hopefully we don't accidentally go to Taco Bell on the way home. I think that's a yes. <laughs>We just pulled up to Home Depot. We are going to be looking at a few things for the fifth wheel, which is exciting. So what are we looking at? Some backsplash options and countertops. Yes. We're kind of leaning towards most likely laminate for countertops. So we want to look at the solid surface options as well and maybe butcher block again, because we really do like our butcher block. So we don't know yet. <laughs> We're looking at all the options. We'll take you along with us. All right. What do you think, Ash? I do like the laminate option. It's not as bad as I thought it would be, but I really don't like all of these colors, especially the really bright speckles. So I'm hoping we can find one that's a little more basic. We found all of the samples for the laminate and I'm liking some of these a lot better. I think we might go with this just matte white. It's got no swirls or anything. Just keep it really basic and simple. Another option I'm leaning towards is maybe this one. A little bit more of a smooth finish, but you can see it's got a little bit of gray swirls on the back, you can see. It's gonna be a lot more than I think I'm gonna want. Here are the cabinets I think we're going with. So if I pick this countertop and laminate, it should go that way. I can keep the cabinets and the counters really basic, flat, white and then get some interesting designs with the backsplash and do a detail on the island. We've decided on a backsplash. We're gonna go with the brick look. Um, it comes in this sheet, really easy. It's actually made of wood, right? Yep. So obviously we're not gonna keep it red, but we're just gonna buy this sheet, put it up as the backsplash and then paint it all white. And it's gonna look really good. All right, I would say our Home Depot trip was a success. We got backsplash picked, cabinets are on order. I think we're good to go with that laminate that we chose. And hopefully we don't accidentally go to Taco Bell on the way home. I think that's a yes. <laughs> Let's do it. Dishwasher is here. I'm so excited. So we, of course, had to have a dishwasher after installing one in our old trailer. But this time we did a little bit different style. So this is just like a drawer style dishwasher um, as opposed to the little skinny one. Yeah, Mike, show them how it works. So this will attach on, obviously, we don't have it put on right now, but you just flip the door down and there's one little cute shelf. <laughs> so you can't obviously get a ton of dishes in there, but it'll be nice for things like silverware and smaller dishes, like all of Avery's dishes. Um, cups and bowls and things like that. So our plan was to originally put the dishwasher over here in the kitchen slide out, but it's not set up for plumbing. And Mike decided to not tackle that. And instead we're gonna put it in the island, right? Yep, so it's just gonna be a lot easier in the island instead of the pop out because of the plumbing. But the island is actually a little bit too skinny. So what we're gonna do is we're just gonna modify the island we're gonna make it just a little bit deeper. And then the sink's still gonna go right here. The dishwasher's a little bit wider, so we're actually gonna to have to extend the island out that way a little bit. This island is really narrow to begin with, so extending it out a few inches this way shouldn't eat into the walkway at all. There's a big gap here. When the slides are in, both of them come down all the way underneath this island to right here. So we can't make the base any wider, but what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna extend this lip out just an inch or two to get the dishwasher to fit. So yeah, he's working on that right now because this has to be done and figured out before we can put countertops back on the island. I really like how the front looks. It's nice and like simple and minimal. Not that you're gonna see it too much just cause it's gonna be over here. But yeah, I really like the look of it. And then speaking of appliances, you probably saw we have our fridge in place. Look how good it looks over there. So this is the fridge we had in our old RV. We just moved it over here. We love this fridge. It's a counter depth fridge, so it doesn't stick out super far, which is nice because we needed it to fit in the slide out and it fits perfectly. And then we just have to put a little trim piece up here to cover that gap. I did test putting the slide out in. It works perfectly. It comes <laughs> to about right here, have an inch or two to spare. Yeah, Mike was a little nervous this handle was going to hit the island, but it worked out perfect. So that's nice. 
All right, while well, he works on that, I am going to go work in Avery's room. I need to remove window valances, get the blinds out. Um, we gotta get the couch and TV out and then start working on all those built-ins. We're gonna paint it all white, but then I'm gonna plan on doing some fun wall treatments as well. Maybe some wallpaper. It's been a few days since we've had the camera out and a lot has changed since probably the last clip. So let's walk them around and give them a little tour of all of the things you've been working on. All right. Okay, so we finished bringing up the pantry here and out of the door. We still have to add shelves in here. But I just framed up a little wall and put some paneling on the outside, made a little door frame. We got the other cabinets in here. This is where these two drawer cabinets are gonna go. And then in this middle area is gonna be a garbage can pull out. This cooktop, we had just have it sitting in here. That's about where that's gonna go. Microwave's gonna be right above it. And then this will just be open countertop space. Yeah, we're waiting on countertops still, so those aren't in, and that's why the cooktop's just like sitting like that. The island framing is done now. We just made it a little bit longer, a little bit deeper to fit the dishwasher. Dishwasher's in now. The sink is kind of mocked up where it's gonna go, right here. So we're going with laminate countertops, so we had to choose an overmount sink. And then check out the faucet. While he was busy in the kitchen building all of that, I was in Avery's room in here getting the walls prepped for paint. And then today, Mike has been installing this shiplap wall. So do you wanna tell them what kind of shiplap we ended up using in here? Yeah, so it's this really thin quarter inch tongue groove board. And to get it to mount to the wall, I had to add these horizontal boards that gave me something to shoot nails into. Next up, we're gonna be painting Avery's room, getting the wallpaper in place, hopefully. I'm gonna finish up out in the kitchen before the countertops get here. Thanks for watching, we'll see you next week.